the streets of Kyiv and during some of his country's darkest days, Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky has issued stirring messages of defiance. We're all here. Our soldiers are here. The citizens are here and we are here. We defend our independence, our country. That's how it'll go. The 44-year-old law graduate turned comedian was born to Jewish parents in a Russian-speaking part of eastern Ukraine. Shortly after college, he co-founded a production company starring in a TV series playing a school teacher who accidentally becomes president. He's had stints on Dancing with the Stars and in romantic comedies. Some viewed his presidential candidacy as a joke three years ago, but he went on to win with 73% of the vote. Congratulations to the team! Vowing to fight corruption and ensure peace to the east of the country. President. He made three promises when he was elected. He said he was going to make Ukraine rich. He failed on that. He said he was going to win the war on corruption. He failed on that. And then he said he was going to bring peace to the Donbass, and he failed on that. But let's not fault him. Uh, you know, it's we're only two years in, and those are big promises. He wasn't that great of a domestic politician, and the war is completely remaking him, and he's become an overnight sensation and hero, I'd say, to the entire world. It's not the first time Zelensky has made global headlines. President Trump's phone call with the president of Ukraine is at the center of the ongoing impeachment inquiry. Not an explicit quid pro quo, but the president was clearly teeing up his request to Ukraine. Uh, thank you very much. A phone call between Zelensky and then US President Donald Trump in 2019 entered the history books. Trump was impeached over allegations he pressured Zelensky, a foreign power, to dig up damaging information on the Bidens. He had also withheld military aid to Ukraine. In recent days, Zelensky refused an offer from the US to be evacuated. He said, I don't need a ride, I need ammo. Uh, it, it's a great line, I think, that, w that we will all remember. And it speaks to his tenacity, to his heroism, to his courage. Damn you. An address to the European Parliament prompted a standing ovation. And in a media interview, he was asked if there's any hope for diplomacy. Everybody has to stop, stop fighting. There are principal things you can do it. And that is a very important moment. If you do this and if those side is ready, it means that they are ready for the peace. If they don't ready, it means that you're just, you know, just mm, how, wasting, your time. wasting time. And do you think you're wasting your time or do you think they're ready? We'll see. Zelensky, a man determined to lead through the crisis, despite the target on his back. He's becoming a world-class leader right before our eyes. He's inspiring people with his patriotism, with his stiff upper lip. He's still communicating openly, and I think he's inspiring people. Everyone I know, every fierce critic of Zelensky has said, nope, not anymore. This is his moment. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.